And welcome to this week's edition of the Pool Guy Show. Today I'm going to be talking about some must-have equipment and tools for your pool route. This podcast has been brought to you by InYourPools.com. InYourPools has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door. And the podcast is also brought to you by the Riptide Pool Vacuum System. The Riptide is a powerful vacuum system that will allow you to get large leaf debris off the bottom of the pool rapidly. To learn more about the Riptide, you can visit their website, www.riptidevac.com. And if you're in the pool industry and you're looking for the best app available to automate your billing, organize your pool route, notify your customers, and track your repairs, Go to useaquasuite.com. Aquasuite has been built by the pool industry professionals for the pool industry professionals to give us the tools we need to get the most out of our business. Upgrade your pool company now with Aquasuite. Be sure to tell them you heard about it on the Pool Guy podcast show for an exclusive discount when you sign up. I'm going to take a moment also at the beginning of this episode to talk a little bit about the other things that I do besides the podcast, and then I'll get into the uh, podcast about the products that you need to have for your pool route. You can learn more about what I do on my main website, swimmingpoollearning.com, and I have a YouTube channel. It's the number one YouTube channel in the pool sector. I do two videos a week, one on Monday, and on Thursday I do a podcast version video of the podcast that goes up on the Monday that you're listening to this podcast on. So I record one podcast a week. It goes up every Monday, and I also publish two blog articles every week. I also have an ebook available. You can find that on my website. And I have a print book available on Amazon.com. Again, all this information is on my website, swimmingpoollearning.com. And I also have a free app available for you for your phone or device. This app will allow you to easily access my website, my blog, the podcast. Also has some chemistry calculators on there, links to manufacturer websites and more. And again, you can get the app for free from the Android App Store and from the Apple App Store. And download that today and put it on your phone or device. It's a great way to keep all my resources on one app. I also have a separate coaching group that I do online. You can find more about my coaching group from my website, also from my dedicated website for the group. It's called PoolGuyCoaching.com. And this coaching site is hosted by Patreon. So it's a safe way to make the payments to me. And the payments are really low. For $10 a month, you can text me in real time. And for $20 a month, you can text, call, and you can also video conference me in real time on the job site. So the $10 a month membership basically breaks down to $0.33 per day. So, you know, it's a great bargain. And also with that, you get discounts on your general liability insurance. You also get discounts on the Riptide pool vacuum system and other discounts by being part of the group. So basically, if you get the discount on the insurance, it pays for the $10 membership fee every month for you. One of the great benefits of the group is the GroupMe app. This is a group um, chat where I have we have over 100 pool guys and gals in there. You can post questions, get answers quickly. Um, it's a really great way to enhance your business and learn more about the field. So if you're thinking about starting a business or if you're just started or if you've been doing this for a few years and you want to enhance your business, definitely think about joining me on my coaching site. Again, the website for that is poolguycoaching.com. And I encourage you to join and you can connect with me one-on-one that way. With all the resources I have, sometimes it's hard to find something. And a lot of guys will just text me to ask me about a certain product or video and I'll just send them the link. So it's a quick way, easy way to kind of get information also by contacting me directly. As well as getting business advice and troubleshooting advice while you're out there on your route. You can see I have a lot going on besides the podcast that I record here every week. So go to my website, swimmingpoollearning.com to learn more about all the things that I do for the industry and all the ways that I can help you with your business or if you're a homeowner, of course, help you with taking care of your pool at home. So one of the things that I really stress above everything else is the equipment and tools that you choose for your business. And I think a lot of the problem that people have is how they allocate their funds for their business. A lot of people don't think they have the money to invest in the best equipment. And I think the main problem is that a lot of people, myself included at one point, 
just don't have their finances in order or not budgeting their business correctly. So you may have a $600 a month truck payment and you may eat out a lot on your for lunch while you're on your route or eat out for dinner a lot when you get home because you don't have time to prepare dinner. So a lot of the money will go towards um, things that you probably should be allocating it for better equipment or marketing of your business, but you're spending it on your vehicle payment or other expenses that probably should be limited. So like anyone else, I really like a new vehicle, but I think if you're going to do service long term, the best business model is to, if you buy a new vehicle, you're going to know that you're going to drive it into the ground. So the best business model is to buy a slightly used truck, or you can buy a new new truck at a discount as long as you're getting last year's model and you're getting a, a big break on the price point at the door. And just pay it off and drive the truck as long as it'll go. So in my case, I have a 2005 Nissan Frontier a four-door crew cab. So actually about a year ago, last February, I put a new engine in there because my engine had cracked. It had a little bit over 200,000 miles on it at that time. And the truck never was the most reliable vehicle. I've always had a little issues with one thing or another with the Nissan Frontier. I think it's because I purchased a 2005 model and that's the year they remodeled it from the previous versions and they still didn't work out all the bugs out. It had timing chain issues, had problems with the fuel tank sensor, so it had all kinds of different problems, but I replaced almost every part in the truck. So it's basically a truck that has all new parts in it, including the engine, of course. So I went with the new engine versus getting another truck. I looked around and I saw that a good used truck would be, you know, anywhere from 20000 um, If I wanted something really good, maybe a little bit, little bit more. So I just put a new engine in for 5000 figured I'll get another um, 200,000 miles out of it. And I think by keeping the old truck, I also kept my insurance and registration rates lower than if I were to get a new vehicle. And then I have more money to spend on equipment and tools versus making a payment of you know five or six hundred dollars a month. So I think the business model that you have to think about is where is the best use to allocate your funds? Is it in driving a new vehicle every three or four years, or is it having the best equipment that you can buy? Without having to worry about price point, without having to worry about um, budgeting for something if it breaks. And I think, um, in my view, that the money, $600 a month, is more well spent on marketing your business and also investing in better equipment for your business. And of course, not everyone could purchase a truck outright, so you're going to have payments. If you do have payments, you want to get the lowest amount you can afford so that you can actually market and run your business with low overhead. And it goes with things like eating out and having dinner out a lot. Those really drain your budget and you can spend, you know, five to $800 a month just on eating out alone, which also hurts the fact you can't buy equipment. So with all that said, I think one of the best investments you can make for your service business is to purchase a vacuum system. I know that I'm really big on the Riptide here. It's a great vacuum system. I also like the PowerVac vacuum system, and then um, I recently been using the bottom feeder. It's a really great portable vacuum system. The Riptide PowerVac, or if you get a hammerhead, they all have a 30-pound thrust motor in there, and it's a great way to pick up even small small dirt particles. A lot of them will um, have bags that will filter down to 60 microns. I prefer, you know, 75, 80 micron bags. That way, they don't get too full of air as you're vacuuming, but needless to say, this is a great way to save time. A lot of times, the customer's system isn't running that great, so when you go to manually vacuum the pool, you're not getting a lot of good suction, and the filter may be dirty, so you're not going to get good vacuuming suction. Just the time it takes to get your hose out, attach it to your manual vacuum head, get the vacuum submerged, start the customer system. With a vacuum system, you can just roll it back there. It has it uses a um, marine battery and usually if you depending on the size of the battery you can get anywhere from three hours all the way up to 10 to 12 hours uh, per day on one charge which is more than enough for anyone's pool route um, and it's a great way to clean the pool quickly it, it saves you time and effort and it's definitely a great investment
And so if you're going for the full vacuum system with the cart, you're looking at $1,600 to $1,800, which is a hefty investment for sure. But the time you're going to save at your stops and the amount of extra customers you can pick up will definitely pay for that. And if you don't have a lot of overhead as far as truck payments and you're budgeting yourself wisely, you can easily save up for a vacuum system within three or four months and have it on the back of your truck ready to go. You can buy the vacuum system without the cart. Um, I think the price ranges from $900 to $1,000. The bottom feeder doesn't have a cart. It's just basically it has a submersible battery on the back and the whole bottom feeder um, together with the battery and the vacuum head weighs about 12 pounds. So it's very portable. It has an 18 pound thrust motor so it's not quite as powerful as the full size vacuum system with the 30 pound thrust motor but it's definitely a great way to save you time at each service account. So whether you buy the Riptide, Power Vac, Hammerhead or the bottom feeder I definitely think it would be very wise to invest in a vacuum system for your business. You're going to regret not getting one earlier. You're going to use it a lot on your pool route, especially if it gets windy, if the pools get thrashed, or if you have some borderline accounts that you are thinking about dropping because they're always dirty every week. With a vacuum system, you can keep that account, and you may be able to even get more accounts that you would normally pass on, charge more money for those accounts because they take longer and make more money in your business, all because you invested in the vacuum system. So that's definitely a must-have tool for your, your pool route. I can't uh, stress it enough that you need to have one in the back of your truck. Another piece of equipment that I really like are the portable uh, battery-powered vacuums by WaterTech. You could buy also, I think Ryobi makes one also now. I haven't tried that one yet, but the WaterTech makes a variety of different cleaners. One of the guys in my group, Bob, he was he called me the other day and he was at a customer's house and she, Leslie's had sold her the catfish uh, cleaner and you know he just put it together for her and he actually used it in her pool, her spa and he, he said that it worked really well. He was surprised how well it worked and he asked me, you know, he's in a tease thought about getting one for his route now that he used that one at the customer's house. So he was asking me what would be the best water tech uh, battery power cleaner to start with and I would say if you're um, doing spas and pools, spot vacuuming, uh, fairly decent sized pools, medium sized pools with it. And if you're vacuuming up spas on your route, the vacuum that I would recommend would be the Volt FX8. It looks like the Pool Blaster Max Cleaner, but it's a little bit larger. It has a larger motor, so it has more power. And it comes with a two year warranty. Um, they don't like me saying this because a lot of service guys will purchase the Volt and really abuse it and use it up. But if you treat it well, mine's over a year and a half old. It's working great. And it's a great, durable cleaner. has a lot of power. And if you get the sand silt bag with it, um, it's a great way to pick up the fine particles in the pool. It'll even vacuum up diatomaceous earth with the sand silt bag. So a lot of times I'll get my cleaner. I also have the Precision 2.0. I don't recommend investing in that right away because it's you know, $800 for that cleaner but I would start with the Volt FX8 I think it's about $200 or so if you purchase it you can get it a little bit cheaper if you get it wholesale at your supplier but I would say if you're looking for a good battery powered vacuum the Volt FX8 would be perfect for you it's got the size it's got the um, suction power it's small enough also to be used in above ground portable fiberglass spas and it can be used to spot vacuum a pool. You can even be used to vacuum an entire pool. The battery lasts for about 45 minutes. And it has a, a sealed charging port so that there's no water that's going to get into the, to the cleaner. Unlike their older versions where you had to twist off the plug socket that had a lot of failures because water got in there. The Volt FX8 has a almost like a wireless charger. You have to actually attach it to the cleaner, but there's no openings for water to get in there. So definitely would highly recommend a battery powered vacuum. I see a lot of guys still using the uh, spa wand out there and you got to get rid of that thing. That thing's totally ineffective. Uh, it may work a little bit but all, when I used to use that I, the filter would always get sucked up inside the wand. So it's a pretty useless device for um, vacuuming out more than like a small little pile of dirt in the spa. The next thing I would recommend is a good vacuum head for your manual vacuuming. I see a lot of guys using these cheapo vacuums out there 
and for you know two or three times more the amount you can get yourself a Pentair Provac it's got the bearing wheels it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pool you can use it on a two horsepower pump and it's not going to get stuck to the bottom of the pool and I think the Pentair Provac is the best vacuum out there manual vacuum head out there it comes in different sizes so you can get depending on if you have commercial accounts you get the larger one or you can get the standard size and I think wholesale they're like 90 bucks for the small one it's definitely worth the investment it's got the swivel head um, so it makes vacuuming easy it's highly durable you don't have to get a new vacuum head maybe for a couple years you vacuum several pools a day and it's definitely worth the investment it's got weights on top so you can actually vacuum all the way up the walls without the vacuum coming off the wall and it's definitely something that you need to think about again that's the Pentair Provac and you definitely want to use a good vacuum head when you vacuum and with that you need to have a good pool pole and I've just recently filmed a video highlighting the three poles that I use on my truck I like the new Primate pole it's a really great carbon fiber pole that weighs just two pounds um, it's got it takes some getting used to because the third section only has two clips in it to extend it out I know that when I did the podcast with the owner Joe he mentioned that they may have another level lock on a third section for some newer models but it's definitely great because it weighs two pounds when you're putting the pole to the center of the pool to get debris you don't really feel the weight of it and when you're brushing or when you're skimming the pool surface it just makes everything so much easier when you carry it back to the account you're going to realize how light it is so it's pretty amazing um, the next pole that I would recommend would be the Dually Skim Light. I like the, the um, 6 foot to 18 foot tripole. I think that's their best model. It's not too heavy. It weighs something like 3.5 pounds, but it goes out to 18 feet, which means you can vacuum a pool from one side basically on most of your accounts without having to you know, stop half three-fourths of the way and then go to the other side of the pool and finish. And it's also very easy to use. Sometimes the cams will get jammed. All you need to do is carry a pair of channel locks with you and you can unjam that cam. Um, if, that's, if I would say the only defect of the pole is the cam where it wears out over time, but it does lock up sometimes also. But there's no other pole like it as far as durability and reliability. So the uh, Skimlite Dually Tri-Pole is a great pole. And I also carry the Piranha Power Pole this is an 8 foot to 16 foot pole. It only has two sections, but I really like the lever lock that they use on this where it kind of snaps into place. You're never going to have a problem with um, falling in the pool if the pole, if the uh, lock comes loose and the second section moves. It's not going to happen with the, uh, with the power pole. I also like the fact that the section section stays hollow while you're using the pole. It's got a special flap in there that keeps water from filling it up. So it does make it a lot lighter when you're skimming or vacuuming in the bottom of the pool. And it's extremely durable. They have little features like the handle is actually screwed on. Um, I know a lot of times with the um, skim light pole, the handle will pop off the little rubber handhold part. Um, and it won't happen with the uh, power pole because they have actually have it screwed on there. And it's not the lightest pole, that's for sure. It weighs over three pounds also. But it's very durable and it's very... Um, price really well so if you're on a budget and looking for a good pool pole the um, power pole would be a great choice for you the piranha power pole and the name of the company that makes it is called the smart company and they make the um, piranha pole and they also make the stingray pole and for leaf rakes I really like the purity pool red baron I like the rag bag version because you can easily dump out debris seems to last a lot longer too with the rag bag version and I really like it because it reminds me a lot of the old skimmer that I used to use, leaf rake that I used to use, um, that they long, no longer make. I can't even remember the name of the company. Um, but you'll see in a lot of my older videos, it's a, it's a really, um, it was really popular back in the 90s, in the, in the 2000s, but the company just went out of business um, about five years ago or so. And so the Purity Pool Red Baron with the rag bag is my go-to leaf rake. It's large enough. Uh, for pools that are really messy, small enough for spas, and very long lasting. I think I change my net every three or four months. I don't actually change the parts on it because if you have a Red Baron or any Purity Pool leaf rake, 
besides their newer models. Changing the lip and the net are just, <clears throat> just pretty much impossible under normal, normal circumstances. I just throw it away when it wears out by, and I just buy a whole new net. Um, it's easier that way. And again, the nets are very long lasting anyway. Um, a lot of people like the piranha nets and I'll be testing some of those coming up uh, this year. So definitely want to invest in a good leaf rake. Um, you don't want a cheap leaf rake that's not going to last and you got to keep buying a new one all the time. And another good thing about the purity uh, pool leaf rakes is that they don't break on you. They're not going to snap in half when you're getting a lot of debris in the pool. And I really like the fact that they're made here in the USA. So all those go into the go into the fact that that's my preferred leaf rake at the moment and the Red Baron is the one that I use day to day. I'm not going to touch on the test kits. I'm going to probably do a separate podcast comparing and contrasting the different test kits for your pool route or if you're a homeowner what the best test kit would be for you. And I'll do that in the upcoming podcast for you. I do want to touch on routing software, software that manages your pool route, helps you with billing. So, of course, AquaSuite, they advertise here on the podcast. Cameron's a great guy. He has a great product and definitely like the price point. It's based on the amount of pools you have. And so it's like a graduated price point. The more accounts you have, the higher the cost is. The less pools, of course, the cheaper it is. I interviewed uh, Ron, the owner and developer of Skimmer. That's also a tiered pricing format. I believe for most people it would be $29 a month. And it's a really great software program. It looks like an Apple I iOS kind of software. And that would be a great choice. And a guy in the group, Nielsen, he has a program coming out called Routely. And this will be another software program similar to AquaSuite and Skimmer, but on a larger scale. And that one should be out pretty soon. So definitely have some choices there. Um, there's other ones out there. Pay the Pool Man, I haven't really... Uh, talk to him uh, about his software but again AquaSuite, Skimmer and Routely is coming out soon also and you know there's a big open field for the software uh, pool routing software and I wouldn't say there's competition there's plenty of pool guys that need the software so it'll give you more choices I think if there's more software companies it'll allow you to get the one, best one for your particular business and your particular needs and I think all of them have good pros to them. They're all great softwares. And I really, like I said, I know the, the developer of the AquaSuite really well and of the Skimmer and, of course, of the Routely software. He's one of the members of my group. So definitely want to get some kind of route management software. If you're starting out, it's a great time to do it. Um, you know, if you're moving over 100 pools into a software program, it's time consuming and a little more difficult. But if you're just starting out and you have 20 pools, you can definitely start using the software program right away with a small route and you can keep adding pools to it as you grow. The great thing about the um, route software is that it'll help you with your billing. It'll help you make notes at each account of the pool chemistry. You can email logs to customers and you can track your route um, with these programs. It's a great way also if you have employees to track you know, the, the route and the equipment they're buying and the parts they're buying. So it definitely would enhance your business if you had routing software. And all these are designed to enhance your business and the management of your pool route. So definitely look into this soft, any of these software programs. It'd be a great um, addition to your route. It will help you manage everything much more smoothly. So I know I started off this talk about budgeting your business better. And you can definitely find online resources to help you manage your finances in your personal life as well as your business. I think for me, uh, DaveRamsey.com would be a great resource. It'll help you get a plan. And once you become debt free, it'll give you a lot more resources for your business. And I think um, his philosophy of not having payments is the best. It's old school for sure. But if you don't have any payments, the money that you would be paying other people, you can use, of course, to pay yourself and to buy equipment. And to enhance your business rather than paying $600 to the bank you're actually uh, going to be able to use that money for other things and I think it's an, it's an important factor of business that if you have a lot of overhead it's not going to give you a lot of room for uh, upgrading your equipment getting the best equipment or marketing your business or getting software for your business 
or doing a lot of things that would make your business better because all your money is tied up in making payments. So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking about starting a business, you want to start your pool route with the lowest overhead possible. And that way you can spend the money more wisely on things that you're going to need versus paying the bank with the money you're making. So I hope you found this podcast helpful. Have a great rest of your week and God bless. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show.